Good morning, it's Liz and Trevor, the and so long the line is so long at Starbucks. Uh, we are flipping things, and we are actually, it's a very busy weekend. It well, is, you can't flip. yeah, he's right. So, stay tuned and join us for the day. Good morning, I hope everyone is doing well. We are actually in the car, in the line at Starbucks, picking up coffee for my husband, who is working at Farmer's Market, the North Tonawanda City Market this morning, and it's cold, it's 45 degrees, so we're getting him some warm coffee, but it's a long line. So we've been sitting here for a while, and um, then we're gonna stop at the Farmer's Market, I'll show you that. And last night I had, I was out at a show with Michael. Oh boy, it was rough. I'll show you that too. So stay tuned. Okay, so I'm jumping in to tell you what happened with Michael. He'd kill me for sharing this, but. <laughs> so uh, Michael had two shows this weekend, Friday night and Saturday night. Saturday night he was playing with his band 77 Stone. They've done a million shows. They're pretty comfortable in front of an audience. Not many issues. But Friday, he was accompanying his very good friend, Erin Hoyle. And she is just a phenomenal musician. She has the most beautiful voice. And they were opening at a local venue here in Buffalo called, called Town Ballroom. Michael has wanted to play Town Ballroom basically his whole life. So this was the first time. And the two of them were opening for Ron Hawkins of Lowest of the Low. And if any of you are from Canada or the Northern United States, you might know Lowest of the Low. They are one of my favorite bands. I have been listening to them since the 90s. So I was like especially excited that my son was opening for Ron Hawkins. And uh, <laughs> they got on stage. And I apologize because this is, this is all filmed in vertical because I'm always filming for reels for Michael. So they got on stage, first song went great. On the second song, Michael's guitar just completely broke. It just started making this high-pitched, terrible noise, something to do with the where you plug it in. It was loud. Aaron tried to sing, she stopped, and I can see Michael completely panicked because he does not have a backup guitar. They are on stage in front of hundreds of people. He's really wants to do well because it's his good friend, Aaron. And, um, I mean, I thought I was going to cry. It was as a parent watching your son up there and like people are yelling, like, just unplug it. It was, it was painful. It was painful. I was so stressed for him. I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know if he was going to unplug it and just play acoustic and you couldn't hear his guitar, but my son got saved by a rock star because Ron Hawkins walked out onto the stage and handed Michael his own guitar. <laughs> and Michael finished the show on Ron's guitar and it sounded beautiful. later because there was a lot of Canadians at the show and a lot of them told me they've been to hundreds of shows and no one has ever played this guitar like Ron lets uh, people use other guitars of his but he has never no they no one's ever seen anyone but Ron play the guitar that Michael played on Friday night so I think years from now this will probably be a really funny endearing story but right now Michael is like I mean he said he had nightmares over it it was terrible <laughs> But I, I am glad that it worked out the way it did. And I'm thankful to Ron Hawkins of Lois of the Low for saving my son's butt on stage. And the crowd was super excited too because, you know, the person they were there to see came out and played or, or handed Michael his guitar. So it was, but oh my God.
it was painful and stressful. <laughs> And that's show business. It's about, um, you know, making mistakes and being able to handle them when they happen. So great job, Michael and Aaron. You were both phenomenal. And let's get back to it. Those are habaneros. So these are peppers. I'm not familiar with them. Our journey is complete. Those are some nice looking Brussels sprouts, Trevor. Our journey is complete. Yeah? I love them. No, I just I can't oh, see okay. it. I love the moms. I always kill them. It's apple season. It's the best season. Whoops. Okay. At the post office. All right, I feel like I've been running all day and I'm not done running. <laughs> so I just, it's right before three, the last pickup at my post office on Saturdays is at three o'clock. So I just ran it in, scanned it. Hopefully it goes out because it's a holiday weekend, which means if it doesn't go out today, it's not gonna move for my buyers until Tuesday. I wasn't actually required to ship these until Tuesday, but I don't know, I just wanted to get it done. So I shipped two items. I had one more coming in right as I was packing them, but I just didn't, there wasn't time for me to go get it and pack it and still get these ones here on time. Um, Matthew has hockey. I messed up our schedules and I thought we were all in Niagara Falls today. Like Matthew's hockey was in Niagara Falls and Michael's show was in Niagara Falls and it was all going to work out perfect. And then I found out Matthew's hockey game is actually in Buffalo. So <sighs> that threw things off. Um, his coach actually just came and picked him up. And then Kevin is doing his last order for the greenhouse, my husband, and he's going to go get Matthew. I am going to get Michael with, am I going to, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to get Michael to his gig with Trevor. And then Trevor and I are going to come back to the house and I'm going to make dinner so that when they get home, they have dinner ready for them. And then later tonight, I'm going to go to Michael's show with 77 Stone, his band. We're trying to do this with one car mostly. I mean, this is the truth because Michael's only 20. He's not old enough to drink and I am old enough to drink and I would like to have a couple beers tonight. I feel like I earned it. And when I do that, then I need, um, I don't want to drive. So that's why I'm taking Michael so that we only have one car to get home tonight and he can just drive me. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to go get dinner started and yeah i don't know i i feel like this is every weekend it shouldn't be so crazy but it is so crazy so here we go Robert, what are you doing? Are you really videoing me? Yeah, I just videoed you. We're loading in. Michael's loading in for his show tonight. Trevor and I are waiting for them to be done. Look at me. And Trevor's in the trunk. There's TJ. And there's Michael. Just driving home. Look at all the turkeys. Turkey, turkey. Look at the beautiful we're color. Yeah, but not those ones. Yeah. But the leaves doing. are really changing here. It's really beautiful. Imagine Sorry, my windows are so dirty, but we're not we're not sure about this bandit pigeon. Really, really wants to meet Matthew. I don't know if he's injured. 